The governor today unveiled an ambitious plan to upgrade harbors across the state. The $800 million facelift has a fast turnaround time of six years. KITV's Catherine Cruz has the story. Six harbors in six years and just under a billion dollars. It will be one of the most expeditious projects that we've taken on, certainly something of this magnitude. The governor says the fast timeline includes environmental impact studies. Maui's Kahului Harbor, long overdue for expansion, will see the lion's share of the improvements, followed by Honolulu Harbor and Kalailoa on Oahu. Then it's the Big Island's Hilo and Kauai Hai Harbors, and finally Kauai's Nawili Wili Harbor. It's an unprecedented agreement between private industry and government on a waterfront fix. This is the first time in, in my lifetime, in, in my business, and I've been at this business for 40 years, that I can say that we truly have a, 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 a true partnership with, with the administration, with the legislature, and, and, and with our business partners. The idea is to have the Aloha Tower Development Corporation oversee the modernization plan, although that may require a change in state law. Right now, the agency's development authority only covers Oahu and not the neighbor islands. No one disputes the harbor need is great and growing. The state says by 2010, the container demand is expected to grow by 27 percent. By 2020, 93 percent. Any reserve capacity that we've had will soon be gone. But not everyone is in agreement with the priority list. Maui legislator Kalani English, who has a condemned harbor and aging bridges in his district, continues to lobby for more. The east side of Maui is completely unserviceable without a working harbor. Fuel, food, tourists, the economy depends on what comes in on the water, and users say the state can't afford to ignore the lifeline of the harbor any longer. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 Island Television News.